everyone, this is a simple symmetrical butterfly drawing. The supplies you're going to need are paper, pencil, a black crayon, and then something to color or paint with. Our first step is to create a line of symmetry, so we're going to fold our paper in half, hamburger style. Now, we're only going to draw on half of our paper, so starting on the fold, I'm going to draw half of the butterfly's body and his little antenna, and then only his wings that are on the right side. You'll understand why we're doing this in just a minute. So I am creating the top part of the wing and the bottom part of the wing and the organic shapes. Those are the shapes that are not circles or squares, but they are kind of free flowing shapes inside of the wing of the butterfly. You can decorate your butterfly any way you want. So if you want to use circles or squares, you can. Um, that's totally up to you. So remember, we're only drawing on half of our paper right now. Do that with a pencil, and then you're going to use your black crayon and go on top of your drawing. So trace over your drawing. And then when you're tracing, I want you to bear down on the crayon or color over it one or two times to make your black line really dark. I am pressing down and using my muscles to make my black line that I'm tracing really, really dark. Once you have finished tracing over your drawing, I want you to fold your paper closed. And you need to use something to rub the back of your paper. So I have a mechanical pencil that I have put the lead down on, and I'm going to color over the back of it without the lead on. And what I'm doing is I'm pressing down the back of my paper um, and um, coloring pretty hard to rub the drawing. So you could use pretty much anything like a credit card or a piece of plastic or maybe like a book, the corner of a book, to press down and rub the back of your drawing. And once you are done, you open it up and voila, your drawing has transferred onto the other half of your paper. So it has made a symmetrical drawing. It is the same on both sides. Now if you open up your paper and your drawing, you can't really see it on the other side, just close it back up and use something different to try to rub the back of your drawing. But once you're done, I want you to take your black crayon and trace over your lines on the other side of your butterfly also. It is time to make a masterpiece. You can use whatever you would like to color your butterfly. I um, use some oil pastels, but if you don't have oil pastels, that is a-okay. You can use crayons, markers, color pencils, whatever you have. And I even um, eventually got out my paint because just because I love the how watercolor looks against oil pastels. But again, um, use what you have um, to make this a beautiful masterpiece. So, keep creating. I cannot wait to see what you create. Please share it with me. Um, you can take a picture and send it to me or you can share it in the Google Classroom. But I can't wait to hear from you. So have fun making this butterfly and I will see you next time.